In the previous video, we have discussed Boyle's law. According to that, pressure is inversely proportional to volume at constant temperature and for a fixed number of moles of a gas. And according to Charles' law, volume is directly proportional to temperature at constant pressure and for a fixed number of moles of a gas. According to Galusek law, pressure is directly proportional to temperature at constant volume and for a fixed number of moles of a gas. According to Avogadro law, Volume is directly proportional to the number of moles of a gas at constant temperature and pressure. So when you combine all these four gas laws, you will get combined gas law. And according to that, PV is directly proportional to NT. When you remove this proportionality sign, you will get a proportionality constant, that is R. So here you will get the equation PV is equal to NRT. Here R is the proportionality constant and it is also known as gas constant. And the equation PV is equal to NRT is known as combined gas law or it is also known as ideal gas equation. So why does it named ideal gas equation? Let's discuss a little bit more about gas constant. Here we have got the equation PV is equal to NRT. When you shift number of moles of gas and temperature on the other side of equation, you will get R is equal to PV over NT. Here R is the gas constant and its value is same for all the gases but its unit depends on the unit in which pressure, volume and temperature are measured. Here the value of R in different units 0.08314 bar liter per Kelvin per mole, 0.0821 atmosphere liter per Kelvin per mole, 8.314 into 10 less to 3 Pascal liter per Kelvin per mole, 8.314 Newton meter per Kelvin per mole, 8.314 Joule per Kelvin per mole and 2 calorie per Kelvin per mole. We have the ideal gas equation PV is equal to NRT and there are four variables. One is pressure, volume, number of moles and temperature while R is a constant. We fixed number of moles of a gas and find the relation between other three variables. So you will get the equation PV over T is equal to NR. Here we have fixed the N number of moles of a gas and it is multiplied by the constant. So you will get another constant. In initial state, pressure is P1, volume is V1 and temperature is T1. And after some time when it reaches to final state, its pressure become P2, volume become V2 and temperature become T2. So when you apply this equation for the initial state, you will get P1 V1 over T1 is equal to NR. Now name this equation as equation 1. Now apply this formula for the final state. So here you will get P2 V2 over T2 is equal to NR. Now name this equation as equation 2. On comparing equation 1 with equation 2, you can see here Right side of the equations are same, so you will get P1 V1 over T1 is equal to P2 V2 over T2. Now this is the formula that we are going to use to solve numerical problems based on ideal gas equation. So let's try to solve a problem based on it. At 25 degree centigrade and 760 millimeter of Hg pressure, a gas occupies 600 ml of volume. What will be its pressure at where temperature is 10 degree centigrade? And volume of gas is 640 ml. While solving the equation, you always have to remember that you have to convert the temperature into Kelvin scale. So what is given in the question? T1 temperature is given 25 degree centigrade. Now convert it into Kelvin by adding 273 to it. So here you will get 298 Kelvin. P1 is given 760 mm of Hg pressure. V1 is given 600 ml. T2 temperature is given 10 degree centigrade. Again add 273. So you will get 283 Kelvin temperature. Volume is given 640 ml. And here you have to find out the P2. We have the formula P1 V1 over T1 is equal to P2 V2 over T2. As we have to find out P2. So rearrange the equation to get P2. When you transfer V2 on the other side of the equation, it will go in denominator. And when you transfer T2 on the other side of the equation, it will go in the numerator. So here you will get P2 is equal to P1 
v1 t2 over t1 v2. Now place the values in this formula. So here you will get 760 mm multiplied by 600 ml multiplied by 283 Kelvin divided by 298 Kelvin multiplied by 640 ml. So ml will get cancelled out with ml. Kelvin will get cancelled out with Kelvin and on solving you will get 676.6 mm Hg pressure. And it is the answer for our question. Now come to the graphical representation of ideal gas equation. So when you plot PV on the y axis and pressure on the x axis, you will get a straight line. This straight line shows that PV remains constant throughout the pressure range. Even when you increase the pressure, PV remains constant. A gas should obey Boyle's law at all the pressure. Now plot the same graph for normal gases or you can say for real gases. For ideal gas, it should be a straight line. But when you plot another gas, you will get this line. And when you plot the graph for hydrogen gas, you will get this line. And when you plot the graph for carbon monoxide, you will get another curve. Though all the gases give different curve, but they obey Boyle's law at lower pressure and disobey Boyle's law at higher pressure. So here we can see none of the gas behaves ideally. So what are the factors that make a gas ideal? And why do real gases behave differently? And what happens at higher pressure with real gases? In the next video, we are going to find the answer of all these questions.